You are now in bed with Dan and Kelly. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But what, I... what, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Gloria Gaynor! You are now in bed with Dan and Kelly and me. This woman needs no introduction. This is the queen of disco. Yay! <laughs> Welcome, Gloria. Thank welcome, you. and we're in her beautiful bed here. Thank we you. love it. And Gloria, be saying welcome. Oh, of course. <laughs> Who is this again? Who is this? This is Booby. Booby. Hi, Booby. And we are in <laughs> Gloria's home, of course, because yes. we're in her bed. Hello. Right. And we are in New Jersey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful New, New Jersey. Jersey. You know, Gloria, I Will Survive is the most played song in the history of music. I mean, it's been featured on so many soundtracks yeah. of major, major albums. And yeah. it was in 2005 that it was inducted into the New York Dance Hall of Fame. Yes. And let's just go back here a little bit. When you recorded that song, you were in a back brace. Yes. What, what, yes, what? I was. I'd fallen on stage at the Beacon Theater in New York ah. uh, doing a performance and jumped back up, did my show, uh, went to breakfast with the, the, some of the members of the group afterwards, and went home that night, went to bed, woke up the next morning, Paralyzed from the waist down. Oh my, oh my God! So what happened after yeah. that? Well, I, of course, I went to the hospital yeah. and um, was there from about March 15th through July 3rd. I remember I came home on July 3rd because um, I was home for in time for Fourth of July fireworks and whatever. Yes. And um, yeah, it was it was quite a trial. But I came home in a back brace from my oh. hips up to under my armpit, and it was like latched in the front. Good now, who would have known that no. I Will Survive, one of the most, if not the most famous mm -hmm. song ever. I mean, you can't get away from I Will Survive. I mean, right now is playing on Broadway. I mean, the song is in the Broadway show Priscilla, mm -hmm. Queen of the Desert. It's wonderful. Yeah. But another one of my favorites is You're My Honey Bee. <laughs> Come on and sting me. You're My Honey Bee. I love, love, love the album that song came from. Mm -hmm. Never Can Say Goodbye. Love that album. Are, are you auditioning? <laughs> yes, please hire me, hire me. <laughs> but I, it was that, one side of the album when you really liked it. No, one side of the album had those three songs, mm -hmm. uh, Honey Bee, uh, uh, never can say goodbye and reach out come on and reach out and they merged those songs like it was all one song So when you were on the disco floor, you don't mm. stop after one of those songs They just merge into right. So it's like one yeah. big song. So you're like on the dance floor for like 20 some minutes <laughs> Love it Okay, so you now you're on YouTube singing mm -hmm. and never can say goodbye with Two backups. Yeah. Now, was that on the Twin Towers? Yeah, it looks like it's on the top. We watched I, that. I, no, it's not on the Twin Towers. It's on a building that's near the Chrysler Building, because I think okay. you can see the Chrysler Building from there. Oh, you And got you had it. two backup singers there, right? With yes. the 70s outfits and yeah. everything. Oh, God, so I'm, t awesome. I'm telling you, so in the disco era, we, when a Gloria Gaynor song came on, everybody rushed to the dance floor, and you dance, dance, dance to this girl's hits. Now you can catch, uh, I mean, a lot of these songs on YouTube. Yes. Just look up Gloria Gaynor and, oh my God, the music's fabulous. They all come up. You can have a move. And yet, I Will Survive won a Grammy. And I want to know, where is that Grammy now? Funny you should ask. Oh. It's right here. A Grammy. Oh my gosh, Grammy. I have a Grammy in my own hands. Okay, now what does this say at the, at the bottom there? Gloria Gaynor. Best Disco Recording, 1979, I, I Will Survive. Look at that. That's what you have And what else? What an so many what other an honor. awards? Um, well, I got, um, well, one of my favorites is the, the award that was given me by Prince Albert at the World Music Awards for, um, um, can't even remember what the category was. I didn't much care when it was coming from him and it was the World Music Awards. But, <laughs> Prince Albert in Monaco. Right here. Oh, right oh by look at this. Monaco. Right by your bed, darling. Just yeah. pick it right on. The, the Legend Beautiful. Award. Mm. Beautiful. Wow. 
when they Lovely. gave me the, they told me with the legend award, I said, did anybody tell them I'm not dead? <laughs> that's, sort of, that's sort of how I would feel. Yeah, it's like, oh my gosh. And this was done in 2002, it looks like, right? Yeah. Wow. Now, you were born <laughs> Gloria Fowles. Yes. I'm going to hold this. I got something you can hold. Oh, let me <laughs> see. <laughs> you were born. That's because we were in bed. <laughs> <laughs> you were born Gloria Fowles. Yes. How did the name Gaynor come into play? Well, I was doing my, about to do my first recording with Johnny Nash's label. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, Gloria Fowles is really not a stage name. Mm -hmm. You really need to change your last name. And I thought, well, like to, I, I, he said, well, change it to a name that starts with a G because then your friends will call you Gigi. They'll have that nickname for you. I thought, oh, that, that's a good idea, but I don't know any names that start with G. He said, well, you know, Gaynor or, I said, that's good. Oh my God! That quick? Just that quickly. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Whoa! It was meant to be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It was. It was like just like that. What? I want to know what is your most cherished possession? My most cherished possession is easily my Bible. Ah! And tell us why. Because it is the owner's manual. The Bible is what I call the owner's manual. You know, we buy products from you know, for everything in our houses, and they come with a manual, and we read the manual, we see what it's to be used for, how it's to be used, how it's to be cared for, how it's to be taken care of, and all of that. Yes. We do that with everything but ourselves. God Amen. has given us mm -hmm. a manual to tell us, you know, what we're to be used for, how we're to treat one another, how we're to treat our bodies, you know, all these kinds of things, and, and, we, don't, and we don't look, you know, too many of us don't look, so, but I do. I look, I read the Bible daily. Mm. That is my favorite. Good for you. Most cherished Bible. If there was anything to change about yourself, is there anything you would change? Oh gosh, to change about myself, I think would be to be less critical, mostly of myself, but also of just about everybody and everything. <laughs> so it's a Virgo trait, and I just kind of lean on that because I don't like think I'm the only one who's. <gasps> You know, but yeah. Wait a minute, you're a Virgo birthday. too? Yeah. When's your birthday? September 7th. <gasps> Mine's the 4th. Oh, All right, girl. <laughs> Two virgins here. Uh, I mean, uh, Virgos. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to be remembered for? Mm, what I'd like to be remembered for is living my life in a way that is exemplary as a Christian. Oh, nice. stated very nicely. Really I have a question. Who would you like to have dinner with? They could be dead or they could be alive. And hopefully he's alive when he's having dinner. <laughs> yeah, if he's having dinner, I think he needs to be alive. Right. Um, well, just because it's a possibility that somebody might make it happen that's watching, <laughs> Sean Connery. Mm. Oh my God. The original James yes. Bond. Yes. What a man. Oh, That's yes. a man. And he still looks fabulous. Yes, he does. This looks great. Oh, yes. my gosh. Just, oh. But I, I think he'd probably be a really, really interesting dinner guest because he'd probably yeah. have so many wonderful things to talk about that I would be interested in as an entertainer, you know, and, you know, about things that he's done on the set and yeah. films that he's done and places he's been and, mm -hmm. you know. And don't you love that yeah. accent? Oh, God, does, that, does that accent yes, send you? He could read a recipe card. I'd be just... <laughs> <laughs> and now, you know, I understand too, I mean, this girl is into a little bit of everything. She's mm -hmm. taking photography classes, we understand, yeah. and she's yeah. getting her degree in psychology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And please share with us what you're going to do with that degree. Well, I hope to do counseling in a healing, learning, and recreational center that I plan to open for teenage parents. Wow. Uh, and where, where, where will this be? Well, I'm, <clears throat> I'm thinking of Newark, New Jersey because it's my hometown, but I'm also thinking of Atlanta, Georgia because I really, I really am, am, am considering moving there. Oh, what a, what a beautiful place. Now, you've had a lot of accomplishments. You've done a lot in your life thus far. Mm -hmm. What is there something inside of you that is saying, oh my God, I need to do this. I need to do this. What do you want to do that you haven't done yet? Well, I wanted to go skydiving, but I can't do that anymore. Um, because? Because of my back, you have to arch your back. Ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
can't do that. I'm serious. I really did want to go skydiving. You really so, did? Yeah, I really did. I am so but, terrified. No, of I know what she's saying because I, it's like the most freeing feeling yeah, of letting go so. and trusting. Probably would, I would be. Think so. Yeah. But since I can't do that, I think I'd really like to do some acting. I mean, you know, yeah. it, when I think of somebody like, well, there's many people I can think of, but one is like Loretta Devine. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I see sometimes Loretta Devine doing something, I'm saying to myself, Gloria, Gloria Gaynor could do that. See, Whoa. I say that all the time when I see her. See, when I she wasn't so fabulous, I could be jealous of her. <laughs> she's so good. She really Did you see her in, in For Color Girls? Yeah. Of course I did. Oh, my God. It was an excellent film. Wonderful actress. You haven't caught it. Wonderful. See it. Yeah, for Colored Girls. Colored Girls. Wonderful. Janet Tyler, Jackson. Tyler it's, it's Perry. A, it's Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. It's an ensemble yeah, cast. Yeah. And it should be with Gloria Gaynor, she too. Also starring one. Gloria yes, Gaynor. Yes. <laughs> she was the one in that film that made me cry. Yeah. Loretta, Loretta yeah, Devine. One line that she yeah. did was, was uh, I could really, really relate to when she said, somebody almost took all my stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And I thought, yeah, he sure did. He almost took all took all my stuff. Yeah. All my stuff. I'm a Virgo, and I I have what my friends call Virgo garbage trash. I mean, literally trash. Hmm. I can't just throw something away. I have to make it neat before I throw it away. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Join the club. Join the club. I know. I know. I, know. I should have known this was a Virgo house when I walked in. <laughs> Everything is so neat and, and designed and the style and the class that us Virgos mm -hmm. possess. Are you like what you're like a Virgo? If, if a painting is crooked or something, oh, no. then can I put can Listen, yeah. when I hired my housekeeper, I said to her, "I like a place for everything and everything in its place, mm -hmm. and everything that can shine must shine." Yes. Those are the only two instructions I gave her. She never forgot them. She's wonderful. I love it. How long she? How long she been with you? Eight years. Oh, she's a good. She's a good little housekeeper. Is wonderful. You yeah. know what? Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say we're here on Gloria Gaynor's bed. I'm, I mean, I'm just curious. What is under the bed? Anything? Nothing. 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 No, it's a platform bed. And it's ah. good feng shui though not to have anything under your bed. That's you true. Like mm -hmm. I mean, I have got like photo albums and all this mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> storage place, but it's not good. It's to have it clean. <laughs> Gloria knows. If you hadn't become a singer, mm -hmm. what profession mm -hmm. would you have chosen? I wanted to be a teacher. Teaching. Teaching schools, teaching young. I wanted to teach from the third to the eighth grade. That's great. Yeah. That's what I, want to do. I mean, this woman really cares. She's got her heart into many charities. Oh my! What I want to know is, what motivates you to do thing things for others? What? Why do you? Why do you care? Well, I, I I just think that we're all meant to be a family, and that, that we are to share. My mother always taught me that. If you have, if you want to give, if you give, God will see that you have enough to give, which means you have more than enough for yourself. Uh -huh. So, and I think that should apply to everything, not just giving of material things or money, but giving of yourself. Bless you. Good now, for you. Th thank I, you for all your work. Yes, definitely. I want to know who Gloria Gaynor listens to musically. Music a singer. Music. I I listen to a lot of gospel music, mm -hmm. and I listen to a lot of Kirk Franklin. Love BB and CC Winans. I love Yolanda Adams, and uh, you know a lot of the older singers. And I even like to listen to a lot of people who sing gospel music. But I listen to both their gospel music and other like Aretha Franklin. Oh, Miss uh, Reed. Oh, absolutely. I, I always have been and always will be a Whitney Houston fan. Uh, now I like uh, now of the, of, the, of the new artists. I like Beyonce. I think she's awesome. Mm. Uh, Alicia Keys, mm. yes. Nora Jones. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. There's there's a lot of them out there. Mm. Just really really great. Mm. I have one last question for Miss Gloria Gaynor. <laughs> Name one word to describe Gloria Gaynor. Christian. Oh, I love it. Thank you for being in bed with us. Oh. Mm. Oh, and with Booby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do us a favor, please? Yeah. Would you lead us out with just a few bars of I Will Survive? Oh. Honor mm. us, honor us. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in, I've died okay. and gone to heaven. <laughs> oh, no, not I. Oh. I will survive. 
Oh, as long as I know how to love Pick and know next I'll week to see who will be I've in bed with Dan and I've got all my love to give and I'll survive. I will survive. I will survive.